how much did it help your confidence to, to get into a flow and to be able to, you know, to, to be out there for a while and, and put up some good numbers for, for the first time in a while? Yes, sir. I mean, I knew Keyshawn was down, so I knew I really had to help out team my teammates, Brandon, uh, Bryant, put me in uh, good spots to get the ball and be aggressive. Found my bigs a couple times, so I mean, just had to help out. Has, has your confidence been kind of waning here the last few games? Yes, sir. Yeah, my teammates been on me and my coach has been on me about being aggressive all the time, being ready on the catch and all that. Are there things that you've done in practice or, or away from game situation to give coach a little bit more confidence and, and giving you some more run today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like I said earlier, just be being ready, staying aggressive, um, playing off two feet, and um, having my eyes up and dribbling. Brandon, what did you see from Sean G tonight? Um, you know, you know, he helped us out definitely in the first half. Um, got it going early. Um, you know, I told him, you know, six, five, how tall are you? Six, five. Six, five, <laughs> 20, 20 pounds. You know, you just showed us. Nobody's, nobody's starting this change and going to the run. So, um, you know, we're all working, you know, finishing under him. I got to do a better job of it. Um, so, I've been working a lot in the work. Um, that's when I'm doing better coming along. But, uh, you know, we had a good game, but, you know, we still came in short. Um, um, like I said before, I told you guys this when we lost to the Jays. Nothing wrong with our heads above. We got one Saturday against Louisville. Brandon, it was 21 turnovers for you guys tonight. I think six in the first four minutes. <clears throat> You're playing a team with that type of firepower, yeah. I guess. Would that be the recipe, what you exactly don't want to, yeah, they to scored, do? They scored 34 points off our turnovers. I had five, Brian had eight, and six assists between us. So that's not a good ratio at all. And, you know, the more the, the more me and Brian take care of the ball and get their assists up, um, we'll be a different team and the game will be a whole lot different. Um, you know, the outcome would have been different. Um, so you cut our turnovers in half, you know, cut their, you know, scoring all turnovers in half, you, you know, you got a different ball game. Brandon, when was the last time you played 35 minutes in a game? I can't even say high school because you played 32. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not even including overtime, so I wouldn't know. I wasn't really paying too much attention on how much I played. I just wanted to do what I had to do to win. Did you feel like you kind of had the team on your back there for a, for a five or six minute stretch uh, at least? Definitely. When Brian was down, Sean D was on the bench. Um, you know, uh, Mitch uh, was kind of struggling from the field a little bit, and they were kind of like, you know, I want to say that was the end of the ride, but kind of corralled the round when I, you know, come off ball screen. And they did a pretty good job of, like, you know, blocking my view to, to the route. And so I think uh, the first half, I, you know, got them a lob because they switched it. And um, I knew if I would have gotten the paint, Wendell would help up. And that's when I saw him. But, you know, obviously we got somebody like the route going out. But now we definitely just got to find a way to, you know, feed them because. I don't know too many people in, in college basketball that went 100 percent you know in the game is just a shot over five field goals. So yeah. What is it about these second half scoring outbursts for you? Because that's being kind of routine. Uh, I just I don't pay too much attention to them. I just go out there and play, you know. Um tomorrow we got a day off. I've been doing nothing but watch film if I'm not in class on two or So um I just I don't know. That's a good question. I'll find the answer to you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Doral, did you get to see JC tonight? And uh, did, did you have a conversation? What do you say about your performance, sir, the way you've been playing lately? Uh, just saying, just proud of you. And I'm, you know, I'm heading the right direction, per se. Just need to keep my head up and keep pushing forward, like Brandon said. And I'm trying to bring the team together, you know. How much did his success over the last couple of years kind of give you that picture of what you can do? Yeah, definitely. I can definitely bring a lot to the team because, you know, being an athletic seven footer, I can do a lot of things other, you know, other bigs can't do. So I just have to realize my potential and just keep, work, you know, working on my weaknesses, like staying down, stuff like that, make the team better, keep me on the floor. Are you getting more and more comfortable? It's like today I saw you hit like a 10 to 12 foot, you know, from the from the corner. You know, you look comfortable in doing some extra things tonight. Um, I don't have an issue from the rain shots. I'm just more consistent in the paint, dunking the ball, legs, you know. I'm more comfortable doing that than shooting that shot. I can shoot it. I can't shoot it consistently yet, so. Good job, man. Great answer. Great yeah, answer. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> when you came off the court tonight, I know JC was the first guy that kind of bumped you and 
You want to share what he said to you as you came off the court after such a great performance tonight? Uh, he just said he was proud of you. You know, that's all he said. It means you know, a couldn't lot. Couldn't have been much, but yeah, it means a lot to me, though. Darrell, when you played them ten days ago, you didn't get to be on the court too much because of foul trouble. So did you have that in the back of your mind coming into this one? Yeah, I learned from definitely learned from last game. For us to even have a chance to win, you know, I have to be on the court. I can't make stupid fouls. So I, I mean, I still did, but if the first half I tried to, you know, prevent fouls, you know, at all, keep us in the game. So I just have to keep working on it. Anything else for these guys? Yeah. All right. Thank you.